hello and welcome back. This time we are checking out interesting stuff, or maybe mildly interesting stuff. I made the camera bigger, so I can just uh, uh, wave around like a fucking idiot, I guess. Or um, emote better. It felt a little odd. I was so restricted. And this kind of gives me more room. Previously I kind of felt like I was like a unit in StarCraft 2 or like, I don't know, Warcraft or whatnot. Like I just only had like a head camera and like, I didn't, I couldn't do anything. Now, now it's gonna be better. But like, let's just stop wasting time and uh, get the good stuff. <clears throat> uh, my cat sitting on the back of my chair makes it look like she's wearing a leather jacket. And this is fucking awesome. Look at that cat. <laughs> it's fucking hilarious. Actually, I was playing uh, a game not recently, but like two or three months ago. Kind of uh, planned on like maybe uploading those episodes uh, to YouTube. Uh, like, that was Black Sad, an adventure game. That was on, like, an adventure game of, uh, like, you are like a cat detective. Oh my god. <laughs> that was a badass, dude. That, that's why I kind of remember it. Wow, this is awesome. Thanks for sharing. How perfectly our cereal boxes fit in this shelf in our dorm. Yeah. But, can you take it out? I guess you might, but like, it's just gonna be an extra fuss. <laughs> what are you eating, by the way? What the fuck is that trash? No, that's no good. That's that's no uh, sustainable uh, food source for any uh, grown man out there. I don't know. I can eat like a whole box of cereal. That's not a problem, but it's c complete trash. I'm sorry, Kellogg's. It's not personal. I just hate oh, 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 well, rice krispies. I don't think so, man. Muesli. That that's the one one you want if you uh wanna kick your cereal habit. Highly recommended. <laughs> Cardboard tents you can buy at the at the music festival I'm at. Okay, first begs the question: What the hell is wrong with like regular tents? Last I checked. They were dirt cheap. So, obviously, they these are probably even cheaper. So, but... <laughs> the problem with this is that <laughs> someone can easily fuck it up. <laughs> so... <sighs> I guess this is a one-time use thing. <laughs> but what if some, like, <laughs> drunk, per drunk person falls on your home? Your home is destroyed! Oh, man. I don't know, man. <laughs> Can you just take a fucking tent with you, if you must? But I guess, uh... This is an option. <laughs> Maybe someone can, uh, tell me about it, who's an expert at going, uh... I actually, well, knows about music festivals more than me. My kitchen floor has a built-in cooler. Really? And who the hell would want to just use the floor as a fridge? Now the point here is like, okay, like if you had this anywhere else other than next to the fucking fridge, I would excuse it more. But because it's next to the fucking fridge, or at least Looks like that. It, it's in the kitchen, right? Yeah, kitchen floor. Do you really wanna put shit in that mini freezer? Cooler? Instead of the fucking uh, fridge? If this was in like... If, if you had like a mini freezer and you could just put it in your fucking room... I would ask, why the fuck you have a mini freezer? Why are you so fucking lazy to go down to the kitchen to get shit? That would be my first question. But... In a sense, that would make more sense. But this is just built into the floor of the kitchen. Wow. Uh, I have questions here. The janitor's area in the, this bathroom is behind the hidden wall. Holy shit. It kind of looks... Wow, this is awesome. It kind of looks like some kind of castle hidden hidden wall. Holy shit. <laughs> if I ever built... Uh, well, if I ever built my own house... Not really. Or made it built. Like, no, no one built their own house. 
realistically these days, just like you just buy it. Like, and I could custom design it. Fuck yeah. Hidden doors everywhere. Fuck with people. <laughs> and look at how thick is that? You would just assume that it's like, it's not as thick, but it's fucking thick as hell. I could just go into the bathroom, then hide in this hidden wall. And that's, that's amazing. If I kill the janitor in, in there, uh, special, uh, hidey hole in the bathroom, I don't think anyone would find them. Uh, not like I'm suggesting that, but <clears throat> it is just, uh, an idea. The snow hitting the windshield looks like hyperspace. <laughs> it does. Chewie, take me away! This probably inspired the hyperspace uh, in the first place. Uh, because... It looks way too similar. God damn it. Why, why did this post have to remind me of Star Wars? God damn it. These days, what is the acceptable amount of Star Wars movies? You you're you you can watch. I don't think you can watch the new trilogy. I don't know if you can watch the prequels. I think you definitely can watch the original trilogy. That is acceptable. Maybe maybe the first six is okay with like a few uh, new one-off movies. Maybe maybe that's acceptable. Uh, tell me in the the comments wh which one you recommend for uh, Star Wars marathons. Going into hyperspace. Well, we didn't need the solo movie. Actually, the solo movie. Oh my god, controversial here. The cont the, the solo movie didn't suck completely. It's watchable. So if you haven't seen that yet, it's watchable. Uh, yeah, but uh, Rogue One is the the best out of the new movies. My library shows how much you save by borrowing books instead of buying them. Uh, you saved uh, forty six bucks. By using uh, your library card. Yeah. Thing is, why not just go on the fucking internet and just download it? Uh, legally. Of course. <clears throat> but at this day and age, I mean, I, I get that, you know, some people are just really into the old school feeling of books. But two books take up a, a lot of fucking space. So... It's a lot easier just to have a screen, just to read all your books, or better yet, my preference, listen to audiobooks. So, ultimately, this is kind of like the scam you see at games. It's like, oh my god, this is usually 200 bucks, but you can have it for 20 bucks! Buy it now, you would be stupid not to, right? No, I don't think so. Uh, that's worth zero bucks to me, uh, mate. So... Pass. I'm rather enjoying a milkshake in the backyard of my local burger joint. Uh, welcome to death uh, by obesity, uh, fellow rat. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Like th th this kind of uh, like that that cup is enough for his whole family, fellow rat. Why the fuck did I say that? I don't know. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Looks cute though. <laughs> God damn it. Rats are so damn crafty. So under so underrated. We have like the dogs and the cats, but the rats. The rats are closest to us. They're living in the sewers, they're living in the living in the attic. They're so damn crafty. God damn it. <laughs> Some people even use them as pets. Why not, I guess? My parents' cute and overweight cat has a half and half face. The color of her gums are also half and half. As well as uh, the pads of her feet. Oh! How is it called? <laughs> the fat cat? Chunk or chunk? I think chunk is the appropriate word on the internet right now. <laughs> Harvey, what happened to you? Don't take his deal, don't take his 50-50. <laughs> why do well? I I guess I have my answer to what I would have asked is that why do people overfeed their their animals? Because they overfeed themselves as well. So I guess uh, that's not super surprising. But it it would be even easier because you don't have to resist the temptation yourself. But you know, just like you just put out the food and like that's all you get, you fucker. Nothing more.
You can use the same uh, strategy for yourself. This elevator has a shuffle button. Why? What the fuck is the point? Like, obviously the programmer was bored. <laughs> but like, of course these buttons never fucking work, right? It's all, all just only just these buttons. <laughs> if you're lucky. Maybe I have a bad uh, experience with elevators. <laughs> Out of order, that's probably the best you can hope for. And I didn't have to climb to pretty... Uh, Sometimes to ninth floor, something sh something like that. So uh, it's it's not that not that bad. Shuffle. What's the point in that? <laughs> Imagine just pressing shuffle all the time. <laughs> That's just dumb. But maybe maybe this is not the design is different. This might be not shuffle after all. This might be just a troll button. <laughs> <gasps> oh my god. There should be an elevator that always takes you to the wrong floor. <laughs> oh my god. And also the floors would have the wrong number too. <laughs> so you press the uh, fifth floor and you go to the twelfth floor, but it actually shows up as the uh, the tenth floor. <laughs> this would be this would be a good uh idea for a comedy video, I feel like. But people would figure it out, like, come on, they can like, okay, I can just go up and down, but still it would be funny. This is like a, a harmless uh, fun prank, but not really the prank of like, oh my god, you're crying now! You feeling prank yet? This huge bathroom is just one toilet. <laughs> Look at this. Like a big ass bathroom. Technically, like it's pretty big, like probably like double the size of most normal bathrooms or maybe even triple and Just one toilet in the fucking corner Imagine sitting on that and anyone can barge in at any time because you can't close it because it's a bathroom It's not like a, a personal uh, Space there's, there's nothing to hide you. You're just in the corner. It seems like uh, You have all the am amenities you even have a, a railing to get you up, uh, just in case. Although, I would I would assume that those who are fat actually would maybe maybe somewhat struggle to sit on that because it seems like uh, the the toilet paper uh, thingy on the the right is pretty close. Maybe not a big deal, but you know those who are those who would actually need the railing, unless they're old, uh, probably not. Won't be able to use the toilet, at least comfortably. So, w w what's the idea here? And this has to be designed, not, not like okay, like just let's just put in a toilet after. That that's usually not the thing, you know. You you have to design like oh, there's gonna be a bathroom here. Why have one toilet? Or maybe this used to be like an office. That actually could kind of make sense. I'm trying to make sense of this, but maybe this used to be like a, a private office, or may, maybe should be private office with its own bathroom. That kind of makes sense. But like, obviously the the boss can fuck off, and now we're using his like special toilet. That kind of that that's kind of the story behind this, I believe. And the boss can fuck off, and we're using his special toilet, not one at a time. We're just gonna be barging in there and like, hey, hey, Bob. <laughs> I, I wouldn't like this one. <laughs> I like to be alone when I'm taking a dump. Those who are talking to me while I'm taking a dump, not cool. Those who are uh, just trying to be busy in the bathroom while I'm taking a dump, not cool. I'm not taking that long, please. This is my uh, private time, okay? That's my personal preference. This game store is a converted bank. Holy shit. <laughs> Look at that safe. No one is fucking stealing those magic cards. No one wants them either, obviously. Other than some lunatics. It's like, I got too much money. Just, just here. I'll give you some money. That society deems valuable. And I trade it for some stupid magic cards. That I, I only I deem valuable. I'm calling up magic here. You... That, that's overpriced. 
I have nothing against some card games, you know? You buy like a pack of cards, oh cool. I'm totally on board with that. But Magic, a bit scummy, I have to say. I'm not calling out the game itself, just the business practice. Yeah, god damn it. But no one is stealing those fucking magic cards. With those with that bank vault. <laughs> god damn it. And are, are these game I'm pretty sure that these game stores are just closing down in mass. Uh generally. So maybe not the best business, but no one's gonna be stealing shit. Pretty pretty smart. Because those those safes are but near impossible. Well, very, very time, uh, uh, time demanding to to get rid of. So, uh, banks usually are converted. But like, it's it's a weird space to use. So maybe it becomes a shop with a very, very safe vault. Uh. Wow, my local library used to be a jail. Same team. <laughs> Holy fuck. Again, libraries... I suppose libraries are not completely pointless, because you can just go to the library and just do whatever the fuck you want. People are just gonna be like, Shh. And the other people are gonna be like, chumming their faces and like, being being all loud and obnoxious. So, it's a perfect place. Uh, if you wanna have a mental breakdown and get no, no work done. Or maybe, maybe, maybe the only reason to actually hang out in a li uh, library is to find way too long to actually not find what you're looking for, but take a shit ton of time find, uh, looking for it, and uh, just just uh, take a perverse pleasure out of uh, the annoyance of those who are actually taking this time seriously and getting annoyed by those who are not. <laughs> you can care to guess which I would be, but I'm I'm not naive enough to believe the the library is a is a sufficient place. Uh, for uh, studying or reading books. Yeah, and that's it for that, guys. That's the bookstore. The thing is, if you if you don't like it, you're just gonna they're just gonna lock you up. <laughs> Holy shit! And they're fucking using it as well. Because the thing is, they can just use the doors. They can just uh, replace the doors, right? You know, it's not not a complete loss either. Like you, you just like get rid of the doors. You know, just sell the scrap, whatever, or just give it to a prison. Maybe, maybe that's that's useful. You know, I'm even if you get no m money for it, like there's no excuse to have those bars there, Th those type of doors. You can just like replace it. I'm pretty sure somehow, but obviously didn't want to do that. <laughs> whatever. All right, thanks for watching, guys, and see you next time.